welcome back to Magnetize Your Millions and we appreciate you so much for checking out another one of our videos. It's Chris and Colette here and we hope that you've been enjoying them all. If this is the first time that you have uh, come across us, then you're in for a treat. Today, we're talking about the fear of rejection, which is humongous. And I wanna just first off start off talking about where it comes from. Mm -hmm. And it, it really comes from this one primal aspect of us that in life, we, we really only, our, our unconscious brain is there just to keep us alive. And so our unconscious brain, one of the ways that it kept us alive was making sure that we were in a tribe. Yes. And so the first thing it realized was, what do I need to make sure I do to belong to my family? Firstly, what do I need to do to make sure I belong to my friends so they care about me because the first survival mechanism is love, yes. you see? So it, it becomes a fear that basically says, if they were to reject me at age four, age three, age six, then suddenly I'm in a lot of trouble, you see? Yeah. So it comes from this place, but then it gets it gets lost, I think. Like it, we suddenly start thinking, we see an attractive person of the opposite sex, and we start thinking to ourselves, well, oh, what if I walk up to them? But the, the fear isn't that person. I don't know about you, but I have never met met anybody who's walked up to somebody else and another person's turned around and done something really dangerous you know unless you're being dangerous yourself i guess and so it gets put across all these different places and where does it show up you know i see people in business scared about going out there with their message i see people scared about making a lot of money yes because it separates them from their family i see people not talking to you know their dream partner because of it and it's just i think it's just a fear that meant something that got shifted. Yeah, it's it's core to, to, to your survival. And the brain, all it wants to do is help you survive. Not yeah. thrive, not be happy, not be in love, but survive. So it's going to do anything it can to keep you there. But there is also an energy system. I don't know if you know that, but the Indians, you know, the Hindus, they know about the chakras, etc. And so there is this energy center that when you shift it, the first center, which is about fear and belonging, needing to belong. When you shift that really fast, it can really open uh, you up and release that fear. Wow. So that's an interesting Which chakra? approach. It's the first one. Uh -huh. The root chakra is the one that connects you with the earth, connects you with your tribe. It's also connected to money. It's connected to security. And when I see that in clients, I often see that there is a complete block here. Uh -huh. And when we release that, it helps. So, so if someone's out there listening, uh, what would you suggest that they do to, to mm. start clearing that? Oh, there are techniques, people, etc. I would say uh, that do is more an advanced. Do you have like a approach. meditation or a, a meditation? Hmm, not Come really. back to us. We might I create we'll something it. for that. I yeah. think that's really good. But I, I understand the energy systems and, and that we can be in these, you know, have have these blocks. And I think it's important for us to look at all of these, all of these aspects, you know, and we when we think about uh, our different fears and fears of rejection. You know, for me, overcoming the fear of rejection is just to just to look at it head on and just go, well, what am I, what am I really fearing here? You know, and uh, is it. Is it still, is it, and I'm, I'm a very logical person, so I take it from a logical point, right? Yes. I want to attack a logical fear with a logical point of view. And I ask myself, is that fear I had of a three years old, is that actually true right here? And I always ask myself, well, what's the worst worst thing that will happen? Yes. Okay, so think about that. This is the easiest way to get over it. Ask yourself, what's the worst that's going to happen? And so uh, I see a beautiful girl, what's the worst that's going to happen? And she'll say, no, okay, well, I should go. Say it was cool. Was uh, that? Sales call, yeah. Sales call. What's the worst that's going to happen? They're not going to buy from me. You know, everything. What's the worst that can happen? And then here's what I want you to say. Think about the first time it will suck. Mm -hmm. Straight up. <laughs> the first time it's going to suck. But your, your brain will go, I'm still alive. And then it's all about shifting that energy. Yes. What I do as a little shortcut here is you can ask yourself, can I accept that? Uh -huh. They're going to say no. Could I accept that? Would oh. I accept that? Could I accept it? Yeah. When would I accept that? Oh. And just the fact that you're focusing on acceptance, even just asking those questions, will focus you on the solution, which is, wow. it's okay, yes, I accept if someone is saying no. I love it. So add that to the question, okay? So our first one is, uh, what's the worst case? Yes. And then 
could I accept that? Yes. Until you can get a yes. Yeah. And and then I think what happens is what I was about to share is that once you go and do this, you're gonna feel an energy. Yes. Right. You you're gonna something you're gonna get. You know that worst case may happen. <laughs> you know the worst case could possibly happen. It's one of the options. So two things will happen. Either the worst case will happen, or you'll get surprised. And so the last thing is is to think about that energy. And if, if it, the worst case does happen, is to, to learn how to clear the energy. Uh, and then the final thing I want to share, and I'm sure you've got more, is it's all about repetition. See, hmm. you've practiced fear of rejection for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, however old you are. You've practiced it. So now that you start breaking it, it's not just a one-time break yes. and then suddenly it's gone. Yeah. You need to you need to go and go and go and go and go until it just becomes easy. So make that commitment. You know, if it's a fear of sales calls, start ringing. If it's a fear of walking up and talking to people, start doing it. Because if you if you're not going to actually be that committed to start, if you're not going to be the person that does it, your brain doesn't believe you that you want to shift this. There's not enough reference points. And so you know that would be my suggestion. You got anything else? Well, that's mm -hmm. for the beginner. <laughs> the advance, <laughs> I'm just kidding. The I'm advance the is like if you get the map session, if you use one of the techniques or any other techniques you might have, you can literally neutralize that fear. Right. So that you don't have to force yourself to do it over and over. It's going to be completely normal. Right. So there are two choices. If you don't have any techniques, you just do exactly what Chris said. Yep. And if you do have a technique, then that's easy. You can completely neutralize it for the rest of your life. So if you want to get uh, one of those, I'm going to now make Colette uh, give you one away. <laughs> so go to our website and you're going to find one there because by the time that this is released, we're going to put up one of these uh, neutralizing fear yeah. audios. Yes. Will be an audio. Yeah. There will be first a video and then an audio. They have to watch a little video to train their brain. You're welcome. So that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll be there. Go to our website. It's just below. And you know, if you love this, uh, share it, please. Subscribe. Our mission is to get this message out to more people, and we just want to show up and, and keep on delivering more. We appreciate your comments and everything else. No, yeah, we're good.